Dishing out unexpected friendship. A Texas family with nowhere to go on Thanksgiving put out a call on social media and a family from Loveland answered. WLWT News site Daniel Didak was also invited to the dinner table and joins us here live with this heartwarming story. Daniel. Yeah, Stephen, happy Thanksgiving. Now, this isn't isn't this really what the holiday season is all about? A family opened their house to total strangers sharing food and memories, and I for one was grateful to be a part of it. From your first steps into this home in Loveland, it's like you know you're loved and welcomed. Back in the kitchen, there's chatter over food. No bird rolls this year. Plates overflowing with gravy. And at the table, an unexpected friendship buds. My first Thanksgiving in a city where I don't know anybody. This is the first time we've had a stranger, and I am more than okay with it. New to the greater Cincinnati area and thousands of miles away from her hometown of Houston, Texas, Leela Pickett and her three year old daughter didn't want to be alone on Thanksgiving. Turning to Facebook, asking anyone if they had room for two. I just wanted something warm and to like have, you know, that feeling of family around us. So I turned to desperation in a Facebook post. Keeping with the holiday spirit, there was a miracle in the form of an invitation. We started off just messaging. She sent me a message saying like, hey, you know, thank you so much. Are you serious? I'm like, yes, I'm serious. <laughs> Since I walked up, it felt very welcoming. I'm, I'm glad I did it. Carving out a new tradition, Jessica Bonhoff and her family opened their house and hearts to total strangers. The second she knocked on the door, it was just, we were, it seemed like we were friends. We were just like, hey, you know, hi, welcome, come on in. Fate and Facebook brought this crew together. Good food and laughs making this Thanksgiving one they'll never forget and always be grateful for. I don't want anything to go to waste and I want people to enjoy it. I want there to be a house full of laughter and just for people to just be having a, a great time. It's been so heartwarming. Honestly, like this year, I know I'm grateful to be brought into somebody's house and really have um, the values of Thanksgiving uh, verified for me. And I can't stress enough how welcoming everyone was, and it was a great reminder of what this holiday season is truly about. And I have to add, Grandma's apple pie was one of the best I've ever had. Reporting live, Danielle Dindek, WLWT News 5. Yeah, Danielle, I didn't see you bring any of that pie back for the rest of us. <laughs> now. I did eat it all. I have a little bit of a sugar rush, oh, I can't okay. lie. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Thank you so much. Great story there. We did appreciate it. All right.